Gwen, what are you doing here? What is Teresa doing in my wedding gown? But I just talked to you on the phone. You said you couldn't leave New York Ethan, yet. Ethan, I was talking to you from my car just down the road. I didn't want to let you know I was on my way because I wanted to surprise you. And apparently I succeeded because the last thing I expected to see when I walked in here was Teresa wearing my wedding gown. I I'm sure there must be a reason and Teresa will explain it after she gets out of your dress. No, 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 Teresa. I would like to know why you were in my wedding dress and here with my fiancé. Tell me, Teresa, why are you wearing my wedding dress and here in Ethan's bedroom? Um, you know, I, I didn't mean for Ethan to see it, Gwen. Eh, mais moi, and what? Oh, Mademoiselle Gwen, quel surprise! Madame Colette. I didn't know you were here. Uh, it is the same with me, Monsieur Ethan. I, I thought you were not at home. So you're here working on the dress? <laughs> Dead beast. I made a few alterations, and I needed to know how it would look with the dress. Teresa volunteered to model them for me. But, Monsieur Ethan, you were not supposed to see it. Well, I feel so silly. I, I had this ridiculous image in my mind. Well, thank you, Teresa, for helping Madame. That was so sweet of you. Oh, I hope you're not upset that your fiancé saw the gown before the ceremony. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm not worried about that old wives' tale at all. Besides, it was Teresa he saw in the wedding gown, and she's not his bride-to-be. I am. It's just a silly superstition. Oh, my goodness, I, I broke it. I'm sorry. That means seven years of bad luck. Time to get out of the dress, Teresa. It was good of you to model it for me, Sherry. I now see that the headpiece and the gown are perfect together. Mm, will she not look beautiful coming down the aisle to you? Yes, mm, beautiful. Oh, Teresa, careful, so many pins. Something's bothering you, Gwen. What is it? Oh, no, Ethan, it's, uh, it's nothing. It was just seeing you here with Teresa in my wedding gown. That was really strange. It was almost eerie. It was almost like I was looking into the future and I wasn't your bride. Yeah, I mean, how silly is that, you know? The notion of Teresa stealing you away and, and marrying you. Just, you know, no more of this... Foolishness about Teresa. Just hold me and never let me go, okay? I miss you so much. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Teresa. W what do you mean? Well, she must have talked me up so much that you couldn't bear to be without me. Do more than you will ever know. Oh, I can't tell you how good it feels to be back in your arms again. We are going to have a wonderful wedding. The perfect wedding. We are meant for each other. Nothing and no one else matters. Teresa, what are you doing? Come here. 